Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hola Truck and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the great old ones. Welcome back! Um, in the last episode we traded our research for a lot of minerals. Um, and we really need to get more mineral income. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and queue up a couple of stations for my Shoggoths. So I'm gonna... Build a mining station here, build a mining station in here. Gonna build one in here. Um, basically everywhere where we haven't been yet. Because we really do need the mining. I mean, the planets, you can do a lot of mining on planets if you want to. Oh, Zerk is now within our borders, which is good. I like it. Um, there's a tropical world, but we're still gonna build a mining station on there. Corgus is not quite there yet. I would like it. Rockbed has some mining to be done. Five orders, six orders. Um, I think that's all the minerals in here that are to be had. We're doing fine on energy credits. Let's build a mining station in here. Let's build one here. Let's build one here. So 10 orders, that should give us 20 stations. And we might as well go along and do them in here. And in here. What else do we have? That is a sector, so we're not gonna get too much out of that sector. Definitely need that system. <laughs> that has 10 minerals on there on its own. Yeah, I guess that's good. So that that Shoggoth has something to do while we are while we are waiting. This has system has not been served. We just sent in our ship there. We do have a void collide over here. Now the question is, building more spaceports or upgrading my home spaceport? And I guess the answer is building more spaceports. Um, these worlds that we directly control already have them. But for example, Beetlejuice doesn't. So go ahead and build a spaceport with missiles. And this system also does not have a spaceport, so go ahead and build one with missiles. All right, then that in that immediately gives us more fleet limit, which is good. I like it quite a bit. Now let's continue at normal speed. We're still waiting for our wings of Cthulhu to be upgraded. I do feel a bit safer now that we have uh, that military station in there. And uh, we're researching the plasma throwers. I mean, I could do I could do a lot better um, with the research if I were to put different stuff on there. I, I might be able to upgrade that thing, but I need 300 minerals for it and also some influence that I actually want to use for frontier outposts. Might have been a bit of a, a nonsense to commit so many minerals to building up the income. But we do need that. I mean, this guy has 12 orders, 13 orders, so we're gonna get 26 minerals out of this. Which is gonna make a huge difference over time. Um, my sectors don't really give us much. Uh. I could give these guys some minerals, but I first first I want to build up my fleet capacity. How is it now? They're still superior in power and capacity. Um, until I am at least equivalent to these guys, I <laughs> I won't feel safe. That's just how it is. Now, yeah, Southern Enclave is being pushed back quite heavily. 
They don't even have one system for themselves. I mean, the Tecrum system is pretty good. Oh, and now they have colonized that world. They might very soon be able to colonize over here as well. There's a, an arid world in there, so that's what they like. I guess it's only logical that they would do that. I should also continue colonizing, but I'm missing the minerals. System survey complete. Okay, so we are done with the Admir system. Shoggoths have completed another station. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Oh yeah, and I wanted to I wanted to invade with these guys, right? So I do have my fleet over here. Transport fleet. What? Planet must be colonized before armies can invade. Really though. I cannot colonize this planet because this planet belongs to someone else. It's not within our borders. Hmm. What are these guys? Are they their own empire? It doesn't look like it because they are primitives, right? What would I be able to do here? Um, okay, nothing with you. I don't want to use the other guy. Oh, I'm going to lose my construction queue again. Um, let me build another spaceport. I guess I'm going to build it over here. So now you've got a spaceport as well. We went up to 63 naval capacity. That, I'm not Request sure how this complete. is gonna work. So I can't land my armies because the planet hasn't been colonized, but I can't colonize the planet because we're not able to colonize that sort of planet. Oh, we researched something. Oh, better, better armor, very good. Very good. What is that? Ship hull points. Garanthium forge. Garanthium ore. This ore can be refined into a metal that is both very malleable and durable. It's an excellent material used both for the construction of ships and buildings. That is pretty cool. That is a spaceport module. I would like that. I mean, 10% more hull points is very strong. Could also build um, space torpedoes, which uh, penetrate hulls. Um, or the defense station. Mm. Which would allow me to um, defend my planets a bit more, but I guess the additional hull points would give us more bang for our buck if We already have to contend with a small army I'm not quite sure why this doesn't work Planet must be colonized before armies can land But the planet is colonized because it is a capital world Hmm I don't understand. If you guys know what I am to do here, please let me know. It doesn't look like I can stop the other guys from colonizing that space. Which is actually something important. So, land, land the armies on Rely again. Just so that we don't pay the, the horrendous upkeep. Or do I have to have them in orbit? Not sure. Hmm. Maybe. Just Reset maybe I should complete. I should go on and build another frontier outpost. What are we done? Oh, planet planet unification. That's good. What do we get now? Tile blockers, but naval capacity ten percent more. That would be six ships, right? That is what we want, definitely. We need to get up our strength and our forces. 
Are you finally done with upgrading, guys? You still aren't. What's that? We call embassy. Yeah, whatever, mate. Have it your own way. Where do I have to build a star port? No, we do have some in these systems. We have one in here. I guess all that's missing is down here in uh, Takaram. And go to this. Have a look at this system. And then we have to build a wormhole. Maybe we can build a wormhole station in here and jump back home. I really need my my Shoggoths to do stuff in that region. I mean, I could just could just save up my minerals. That's an errant world. I can just wait until these guys are going to colonize those systems. Huh. 83%. I could go up in speed. Let's see what's happening over there. Oh, there's something in there. An Arctic world. We can colonize that as well. Good. And we're done with constructing another station in Dearth. I mean the Shoggoths are moving are moving slowly, but they'll get the job done. And I guess I have to do another redesign and another upgrade with the better armor. Because that is just a, a flat upgrade. Armor doesn't need any any other things. So we'll wait for that definitely. And I want to colonize those two guys and that one. And they are they are moving forward. With that incessant colonization. Crap, crap, crap. They have become very powerful due to my neglect. Should have denied them the systems down here. Oh well. So, well, I don't really have a chance other than to build a wormhole station down here to try and get my shoggoths in that direction and at some point we have to attack them how's it looking it's still superior ships upgraded construction complete all right so the shoggoths did the station over there the spaceport has finished its queue that's good um you're not strong or you're a bit weaker actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them another redesign. Um, the Corvette needs just better armor, which is gonna make them a bit more expensive. But I guess that's fine. And the Destroyer also needs better armor. It's only it's only a slight change, but I do want that. Override the current design. And the defense platform. It actually also needs armor. I wonder how we would go about upgrading stations. I wonder how that works. Do we just have to destroy it? Do I have to send a Shoggoth? Well, I could go about designing the cruiser, but I can't build it anyway, so I will have to do all the work again, if it comes to that. I guess I'm gonna go wait for the flamethrowers, or for the plasma throwers before I do that. Now, guys, go and upgrade again. <laughs> yes, it's kind of a nonsense to do that. I guess I should start building things. What is that? Yeah, that is done. That is done. Wings of Cthulhu have been fully upgraded. I'm not as afraid of these guys anymore now, because we have an upgraded fleet, which is gonna be good. Building our wormhole station. I guess I should go ahead 
and finally build a colony over here to start pushing back the borders of these guys. And I could also get rid of that frontier outpost and finally start making some inroads over here. So that is that is my plan. I'm going to build another spaceport down here. And then a colony ship, then start colonizing again. And building frontier outposts. All the while the construction ship will increase my mineral income. The minerals really are king in this game. You might think energy credit, money is power, but minerals are power. We have to keep the ships up uh, with energy credits, but other than that... Are you growing? Yeah, by one. I really, really need the orbital um, things. So I'm gonna upgrade that. You, you're moving. Right, where are you moving to? Gablor. Don't you like it here? And I'm doing my best. I'm gonna get this upgraded engineering facility even though no one is working it. Guess it might be better used over there too. I don't like it here. That's kind of a bummer. What I could do is I could build a monument to purity here so that these guys are happier. It's a shame that they don't like it and that they are leaving. On the other hand, I can't really restrict their movement. Yeah, let's build a monument to purity in there. That's that's fine. Do that. Um, how is Gablock coming along? You already have the monument to purity. Are you using unupgraded tiles? No, but I can upgrade this one to another bio lab, which is good. And Bakangi. I could start removing that toxic kelp, but it is really, really costly. So I might hold off on that. You're growing that one. I should upgrade their, their things over here. <clears throat> That's kind of shitty. Oh well. So how's the wormhole construction coming along? Cordria has the Arctic world. These three worlds I want very much. I really do. So I guess we have to go through these guys. Regardless of the cost. How is the naval System capacity? We're done with the Caldria system over here. Uh, so, yeah, seven minerals. That's not bad for a system, I guess. I can't jump over here from my current station, so... It's not very likely that I can reach over. But I have to, I have to try it, definitely. So, let's take the Shoggoths. What? I can't go there? Why not? Go to this. So the system. Shoggoths, move over there. Research complete. What do we do? Space combat. Oh, increasing our fleet. Great. Oh, and continental world colonization. Finally. What is that? Crew quarters. Ship upkeep minus 20%. And engineering bay, ship repair speed, ship repair cost, ship upkeep. So we could, uh, with this, we could build out one of our spaceports as um, sort of the home dock. What is that? Share the burden. This edict enforces rotating tasks and work schedules for indentured servants as more varied drudgery can lead to an uptick in productivity. Mm-hmm. Resettlement cost is reduced. And we definitely have to go for the continental world. That is really important for us. We'll open a lot of colonization options. I don't think we'll be um, able to do anything down here anymore. <laughs> they have just they have just eaten everything, but I'll I'll try to, to get along with it. So Shogoth. Go on and build a wormhole station up there. Maybe we can do something. Maybe. Hmm. 
How is how's our population compared to the other guys? We can look at the species. And we know what these guys are. So they have 44 pops on four planets. And we have 59. So we have more population than these guys. I wonder how they can keep up their military capacity. I guess they are doing a lot of science. Lots of science. Maybe. He's still upgrading. Construction complete. Okay. Gabler has finished its queue. What were you building? Something on the surface, right? Yeah, the lab. The lab, yes. I haven't been doing much with my labs. Oh, I could do it now. I could do it now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This planet is a, a great planet. I like it. <laughs> okay, so things are definitely looking looking better than um, last episode. Macrotosh is not, it's not using a building that I built there. What are you not using? That one. Well, that's okay. Corinthium mining. So we, we're done with that. New research. Better thrusters. Yes, better thrusters are good. Um, so let's see if we have that anywhere or if we can buy it from someone Maybe in our home systems that would be good No, 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 is it down here? With my luck it is. Yes, it is. Fuck. That's not good. That's not good mm, I don't see it anywhere else. We do have Petherian stone over here. We're not mining it, but these guys have Pytharian stone, and quite a bit of it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So we have researched that for naught. Well, we could you we could trade for it. Use it that way then. Another mining station has been done. Very good. How are we going about building the wormhole? Yes, we are. I really need better wormhole tech so that I would be able to jump over these guys. I could also vassalize them, which, which would um, reduce the necessity for that. But um, yeah, if I if I get the tech, I'm definitely gonna take it. Wormhole generation. Ship Negorath is sleeping. I'm gonna send you uh, to the orbit of Relaye. Enter the orbit and chill out over there. The wormhole station has been built. Now, is it possible for you? Oh, crap. No, it's not possible to get back my Shoggoths. Maybe to Barnard Star. No, we can't can't jump over them. Just can't do it. I guess we could do it with the next tech. That's kind of shitty though. Maybe I should build another unit of constructors. Yeah, I guess I'm going to. Uh, let me upgrade them first in the ship designer. So Shogoth. We don't have anything better here. Don't have anything better here. We do have a bit of a better armor. And everything else is fine. So, save that design. And Magrotosh is gonna build me some some new unit of Shogoth. Because, um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do on this side and I'm kind of crippled by having my only ship on this side. So I'm gonna disband the Shogoths. No, I don't wanna disband the selected fleets. I only want to disband you. It's kinda shitty. What I might do actually is build a frontier outpost over here to stop them from getting that because the desert world over here must be very tasty for these guys. 
And I really want that ocean world for myself. <laughs> On the other hand, I could build... Mm, that is not such a bad idea. I mean, it is not a great ocean world down here. But it is one. And... Uh, I wouldn't like to see these guys colonize that desert world because they're colonizing everything. They're just colonizing everything, absolutely everything. On the other hand, our border outpost might be used better in this system. Really don't understand why I cannot invade these guys. Okay, so I'm I'm not gonna disband the Shoggoths. I'm just gonna eat the maintenance for now. And maybe build a frontier outpost over here. I guess I should. I don't think they are able to go to ocean worlds because it is the direct opposite of what they can do. They might be able to colonize the Arctic world, which would suck. Would definitely suck. And these guys might be pissed if I colonize a world um, near them. I kind of hope that the United Hisma states anger that fallen empire so that they really flip out and maybe attack them. <laughs> I would like that very much. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing. I uh, hope you join, me, uh, you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.